Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. How's everybody doing? You ready for part two of Who Are the Exodite Eldar? Oh, well, if not, you will be. So, upon the fringes of the galaxy, the Exodites made their new homes. The worlds they settled were savage, and life was often hard for a people unused to physical work and self-denial. Hmm. Do you know anybody like that? Anyways, when the final cataclysm erupted, most of the Exodite worlds were far from the psychic epicenter. The resultant psychic implosion wiped out the rest of the Eldar race and left a gaping hole in the fabric of space-time. Many craft worlds rode out the psychic shockwave and survived, but the Exodites had already reached places of safety or else perished with the rest of their race. This is an important thing that I need to point out to people. That means that the Exodites did not go and inhabit or colonize maiden worlds. Exodites went to shitty backhole planets in the galaxy like they said places infected by infested with orcs and uh, other nastiness possibly even death worlds or things like that they didn't go to nice places is what i'm saying and they were at those places long before the cataclysm the craft worlds were an escape pod but the exarchs had been living on these places for who knows how long Considering an elven lifetime, if they've been there for generations, they mean they've been on these planets for hundreds of thousands of years before the cataclysm. Okay, that's important. They're not survivors. They're not people who ran away. They were just people who said, fuck Eldar culture. I'm sick of you guys and I'm leaving long before the cataclysm for any reason that they want. That's a very important difference. Now let's go on. The Eldar that lived on these worlds learned how to cultivate crops and harvest, harvest other natural resources. Okay? So they're farmers and miners is what I just read that at. That means these people, uh, they actually have skills. The psychoplastics necessary for Eldar technology are rare and precious on these remote planets. So the Exodites use other substances and rely on simpler ways. So that means that they're not as dependent upon psychics. They're going to be somewhere between the Dark Eldar and the Craft World Eldar. Because the Dark Eldar, when we get to my fluff videos on that, you go watch them, are not psychic at all. Their psychic potential has basically been bred out of existence. The Craftweld Eldar live in purely psychic societies where opening a door requires you to be psychic. And the Exodites are going to be something in between. Here we go. The Craftweld Eldar regard the Exodites as rustic and rather simple folk. Vigorous and dangerously individualistic in a way that is quite unlike their own introverted societies. Where the craft worlds cling to the past and preserve all they can from their fallen civilization, the Exodites have turned their backs upon ancient tradition in favor of a simpler and harder way of life. Their minds are tougher and more straightforward, but not so subtle and ultimately less powerful than the class craft world Eldar. Yeah, but there's a key word there. Tougher. What does that translate to? Well, if you're a rules monger, that's going to translate to these guys don't need to use rune stones to use psychic powers. But those psychic powers are not going to be as strong as the craft world Eldar. Which once again supports my hypothesis that Dark Eldar, no psychics. Craft World Eldar, typical psychics, no runestones necessary. And 
Oh, I'm sorry, Exodite Eldar are that, and Craftweld Eldar are super psychics, but they need rune stones to protect them. What do you think? I think that's how it's going to go. Okay, next we're going to go on to part three. That was about the society. The next is, what are the planets are like? I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>